Aloha! Welcome back you guys to my channel. My name is Melinda and around here we're all ears. So today's video I wanted to do a shopping haul of my trip to the Disney's Alani in Hawaii. Now didn't have the best experience there obviously if you watch my previous videos uh, due to getting COVID on the first night and getting stuck there for 12 days but if you haven't seen that video I'll link it down below. But towards the end of the trip, we did make the best of it and did a lot of shopping and tried out a bunch of the restaurants so that I could report back to you guys. So now that we're back and it's a rainy day, I figured get all the Hawaiian vibes going. My ears that light up, ta-da! <laughs> and all the receipts from Alani so that I can show you guys what we bought and how much it costs so you know for when you go. So if you wanna see more about Alani, Keep watching. Okay, since we are all ears around here, obviously the most important thing that I'm gonna show you first from my haul are ears. So with this pair, I actually made this pair. There's something really cool you can do that if you're staying at the Alani, be prepared and watch my other video. Um, but I would definitely do the ear making class. So you can go sign, make sure you sign up days in advance because it does book out quite quickly, but you can go to several sessions they have throughout the day, sign up and pick out which color ears you want. So like what color of the metal part you want, if you want them to light up or not. So if you do want them to light up, it's an extra $10 US. Um, if not, then it's $25 for the class and the ears. If you do want them to light up, it's 35. Highly recommend the, the lighting up ones and it's definitely worth it. I did it a couple times. Um, and the nice part is, is when you're going out at night to the restaurants or you're around the resort when it gets dark and you turn on the lights, it looks so cool. And it even looks really nice in photos. I'll post one up above. Um, but hubby and I did a class together and uh, he made me these ears. So he went with blue that light up and obviously I went with a more pink with the leaves. So you can actually pick out, you know, a several different like types of flowers or little, you know, um, wooden like seashells or hooks and different stuff like that. And you pick out a certain amount and then you get to decorate it with a hot glue gun. It is safe for kids. Um, we did see other kids in there younger than ourselves um, making ears, but it was just a really fun touch to the trip now. Since hubby and I both made a set of ears, he made these for me, I made these for myself. Before I left, I was like, oh, I just, I wanna get one more pair. So I went back down to the shop and I was like, you, if you don't have time to make it or you can't get reservations to go make your own ears, you can either have them make the ears for you and just tell them what you want and you can go back and pick them up, which is really cool, or you can get a to-go package. So you can pick which other type of flowers you want. Um, they'll give you like the extra leaves and stuff that you see. So I've got a whole bag of like leaves um, and then the different smaller flowers. So they package all these up for you in a to-go thing, same price, $35. And I thought, oh, I just want to get a pair to take home because I love making my own Disney ears at home as well. I should probably do a video about that. I make ears all the time. Um, and as you can see, I don't know if you can see, let's, the whole room is filled with ears. I think, I think I'm up to 37. Yeah, I told, told hubby I need at least five more. Um, but I have 37 currently. But when I got home, I had an event to go to at the aquarium uh, and they had performers of like Ursula, Little Mermaid and Prince Eric. So I went dressed in a Disney bounding Ursula type outfit, but I needed ears cause I am all ears. So I took the ears that I got from the Alani, the plain, plain black ones, and I made my own ears that light up. So I could actually take this back apart again if you can see, and I just wired through, and these flowers were actually red, but that wouldn't have matched with my outfit. So I used food coloring, so food dye they would use for baking, and I just 
hand dyed each one of these to be purple and black. And now that the event's over, I can take this part off and then remake the ears into something more tropical if I want. But I thought that was super fun where you can just, you know, pay $35, take an extra set home, and then make it for the future for maybe a different outfit you wanna wear or a future trip, um, or even go home and make with someone as a gift. But these ones light up differently. So three light up pairs. Now to do the class, it's $35. So we paid $70 obviously for hubby and I due to the first class. And then I paid $35 for the pair to go. So all in all, I think $105 for three pairs of ears and you know the hour long entertainment kind of adventure of making the ears was definitely worth it. I really enjoyed that. And then of course I had to buy some ears from the store. So first pair I bought were these which you might've seen in a previous video. So just a nice traditional um, Hawaiian vibe that'll match with everything. Can't go wrong with black and white. And then I always had this joke with my dad. My dad, for some reason, his least favorite color was purple. So I would purposely wrap his birthday gifts and presents and his make sure the envelope to his birthday card and streamers and whatever I could find was always purple. And I'd be like, look, dad, your favorite color. So when I saw these purple ears, and since we were there to celebrate his life on his birthday at a luau, I thought, these ones are for you, dad, your favorite color. So I had to get these purple pair, which I thought were really cute. Um, and I actually wore these to the beach and I really like them a lot. They're very comfy, but these both as well, these were 35 um, up in the gift shop. So same, same. So you could either buy them, make them, whatever, as long as you got ears. So moving on now that we got the ears out of the way, the necklace I did not buy. However, when you do attend the luau, which is very expensive, um, I think we paid about 300 US to do the luau. It was fun. It was beautiful. It probably would have been a lot better if during dinner, I didn't come down with COVID and start feeling very sick, but the performers were beautiful. It was really cute to see Mickey and Minnie doing um, the hula, but they give you these necklaces when you walk in. I thought they would give these to the guys and they'd give the girls like beautiful lays, but we all got these pretty beat it necklaces that hubby and I got. So I thought it was appropriate to get into the vibe. Um, and the next thing I want to show you is since we try to avoid the sun and obviously take you know good care of our skin and wear lots of sunblock um we didn't have any like rashies with us or anything to like you know if you go to paddleboard or surf or you're gonna be on the beach for a long time to protect your skin so when i saw this outfit at the um the lava shack which is down by the resort pool so it's i, I didn't even know it was there at first so they've got two big gift shops up on the main entrance area um, so the one is the big main gift shop. Then they have another gift shop that's a bit more hoity-toity and expensive. They've got more of the luxury type items, if you will. But down by um, the pool, it's kind of hidden like under this cave area. It's called the Lava Shack. And they've got a cute little shop there where if you forgot your sunblock or if you want something to protect your phone um, to go underwater or, you know, just some cute swimmers for the kids or floaties or bathing suits. They have all that kind of stuff in there. And when I saw this, I knew I had to have it. So, cute little bathing suit top. And it's got Minnie on the paddleboard. So cute. And it says Alani. Nice little pattern. And the nice thing about this is it's SPF 50. So it protects you from the sun. And then it came with like a cute little pair of swim trunks. The material is super, super soft and comfy. Let's see, it is 83% polyester, 17% alstalane, and hand wash. So this I got and I loved and I actually wore it um, a few days and it was very comfortable. We went paddle boarding, which you can rent paddle boards there um, for $50 for an hour. Now, that bathing suit for the top and bottom, let's see here, was a little bit more expensive than um, Hubby's one that he got. So all in all, at the Lava Shack, 
So the top was $80 and the rainbow swim shorts were $55. Um, so after uh, tax or GST, $141. So I didn't think that was that bad for a bathing suit. I know I'll wear this, you know, quite a bit because I do want to protect my skin from the sun. So I know if I'm going to be out somewhere um, here in Australia paddle boarding or something like that, I could just throw this on, remind me of my trip and it'll protect me from the sun. And then I saw this one for hubby and I told him, I was like, you have to get this. It's adorable and will match. Um, but got him a rashy as well. So we found this blue one for him, which has Mickey swimming on it as well. Um, same material, feels really, really nice. And now I think his was, so his was 60. So his top was 60, whereas mine was 80. I guess it's because mine's long sleeve. Anyway, we both really liked them. They're really comfy, but the shop does have some really, really cute bathing suits. The kid one, all the different kids ones. If I could put them on my puppy, I would. They were so cute. So those were our little bathing suits. Now the next thing I got was this beautiful frame. And I told hubby, we're gonna pick our favorite photo from the whole time there and we'll put it in this frame. So I got this really cute, picture frame with Mickey and Minnie on it you can see the top now this was 25 US it's got a little back to stand so obviously you can only put a portrait photo in it but really cute they had tons of different ones like this but I just I obviously I love this color and I thought it was really cute maybe we'll put the photo of us sick in the hotel room <laughs> recovering but we still haven't picked a photo out yet but this is what this is for to add to this massive wall back here and we always try to pick one favorite photo to go in a frame from that whole trip of wherever we were in Disney so this will be our Alani one and that was $25 now something really cool about Alani that most people don't know is they have exclusive merch there that you can't get anywhere else in the world. So I was told that probably about 90% of the merchandise there at Alani, you're not getting anywhere else. So the only way to get it is to stay at the Alani. Now it was quite weird because I always knew that Alani, you couldn't go in there and just shop or go in there and eat at the restaurants or use any of the um, amenities if you weren't staying at the resort. But I don't know if it was due to COVID and like, I guess lower capacity um, of rental rates and people not coming to visit. But on the day we were there, we saw people getting um, these wristbands. So when you get there, each day you go down to the pool and you get a different wristband. So it's a different color every day and that allows you to get your towels, your chairs, and that allows them to know that you're actually supposed to be on Alani property. So if you don't have one of these on, they're gonna come question you and get you off the resort if you're not supposed to be there but we saw people getting a different color and i went and asked the cast member i said oh what what is that wristband for i haven't seen that color and they said oh it's for people that aren't staying at the resort but they just want to come have dining and do a little shopping and i told her i said oh, i thought that wasn't allowed here and she goes oh they make exceptions every once in a while um and if they do though they can only use the restaurants and the shops they can't use any of the amenities so they can't go down to the pool area they can't go into the spa area so if you want to get some of the alani goods and you happen to be in oahu or honolulu and maybe don't want to stay at the alani or can't afford to stay at the alani because it is quite expensive you might want to call and find out that you know if there is the day pass where you can get these wristbands and you can go maybe have a character breakfast or a character dinner and do a little shopping because some of this stuff is really cool that you can buy there now if you are a big disney fan like i am you'll know of some of the other characters duffy's and duffy and friends so duffy originally started out by minnie giving mickey mouse before his voyage and go away to travel duffy the bear then came along Duffy and Friends. So exclusive to the Alani is a new character called Olu Mel. And people here in Australia call me Mel. So I was like, I have to get him. So this is Olu Mel and he is the newest of Duffy and Friends. He's really cute and you can see the little hidden Mickey on the back. Now I chose to go with the keychains, which 
the keychains are around. Let me check my receipts because I want to give you the right prices. So let's see. The keychain was $12. So the reason I went with the keychains is because my first time I went to um, Disneyland Hong Kong and in Tokyo, I got um, Gelatoni and Shelly Mae and Stella Lou. Actually, I'll show you, it's right here. So this is my little Stella Lou, and then I have some of my other little characters over somewhere. Oh, they're somewhere around here. I I'll have to do a tour of this place one day. I've got, I get a lot of questions. People ask me about all the artwork. Those are actually hand painted by my artists um, that work for my business. So they know I love Disney and a lot of them when they're creating paintings or they've done a painting so many times, they'll add a bit of a Disney type of twist in it for me. Um, so that's all the artwork, but I'll have to do a room tour. So new part of Duffy and Friends is the Olu Mel. Now the other newest addition who's super cute. I love her so much because I have a puppy. Her name's Cookie Ann and she's a little chef. She's so cute with her little hat and her little apron. So same thing. Well, this one was $15. So this um, keychain was $15 and I chose to get these so that all of the little keychains. So Stella Lou is actually from Tokyo. So all the little keychain ones can go next to each other. And another reason is when you go to um, Tokyo Disney, everybody on their backpacks and on their bags, tons of these hanging from them, like collections of all the different Duffy and Friends keychains. Um, so that's how I got hooked. But I bought these two and then I saw this one and I, even though I already had an Olu Mel, I needed another one because this one was just too cute. He was a little Christmas one playing the guitar. So he's got his little Santa hat on with his little Hawaiian flowers. But he's so cute. But then you got the little, little outfit one. So I like this one so much. And I said to hubby, you know what? I'm gonna buy another one. And he said, you're gonna buy three. Why are you buying three? Cause I'm gonna buy one for one of you guys. So a little giveaway. I actually bought one for myself and one for my subscribers from my trip. So if you want to win Olu Mel, you need to be subscribed to the channel. You have to have liked the video. Comment down below what your favorite video has been from my previous videos. And you have to be following me on my Instagram page, She's All Ears. So basically there is an app you can go through. It'll tell you who's the most engaged person on your channel um, based on video watches, likes, all that. So just be the most engaged, you know, like the videos, comment. And then I, I'm going to wrap him up with something else special from my Disney World trip and I'll mail it out to a winner. So if you'd like to win this exclusive one of a kind little Olu Christmas Mel, um, comment down below, make sure you like and subscribe to the video and he'll be all yours. And you don't even have to travel all the way to Hawaii for him. Or you can go there and take him with you. So that is that. And now, because I really was hooked on Olu Mel, um, and if you've watched my previous videos, you know that hubby and I collect Christmas ornaments from everywhere we travel so that when Christmas time comes around, November 1st for us, <laughs> uh, we start decorating the tree on November 1st. So November 1st in the morning, Halloween decorations come down, whether it's a work day or not. I get up early in the morning. I start taking down all the Halloween decorations and we bring out all the Christmas decorations. And then that night we start decorating for Christmas on November 1st so that we can enjoy it as long as possible. But we have so much fun taking out all of our Christmas ornaments and looking at each one, reminiscing about all the incredible trips we've had together over the last 11 years. And we pull out each little ornament and we're like, oh, do you remember when we were in Tokyo Disney for our wedding anniversary? Or, you know, do you remember your first trip to Walt Disney World? Um, so each ornament we buy is a little reminder, which I think is something really special and unique to do. Um, maybe start adding your collection. So our Christmas ornament, one of our Christmas ornaments we chose was of course, 
Oh, look at Mel. What is a little hit of Mickey and the guitar? Especially because I'm Mel, so. This is one of our Christmas ornaments. Now, let me see. Christmas ornaments. I've got so many receipts here, you guys. Did a little bit of shopping. So the Christmas ornament was $20. And then in your room in Alani, there's, there's not like the Disney resorts in Walt Disney World or the other resorts where it's like plaster Disney everywhere. It's a normal Hawaiian hotel room. And it has one item in the whole entire room that pretty much is Disney. And it's the lamp that's on the table. And this lamp was so beautiful, hand carved, wooden with like Mickey with a surfboard. And I came to find out later from the cast member in the shop that they're handmade and you can actually order one. And I think that she said they're around $350. Sounds like a lot, 350 US is a lot for a lamp, but they're actually made to order, hand carved specifically. So you can't just go in the shop and buy them. And the cool thing is you actually don't have to go to Alani to get one. She told me that you can actually go online and contact the Alani and you can order one and have it shipped to you. So that's pretty neat. We weren't spending 350. So we found the replica ornament that they just came out with while we were there. And so this is what the lamp looks like in your resort hotel. And it actually lights up. I don't know if you can see it, but anyway, it lights up and this was, this one was $25. So Olumel was 20 and this one was 25. Really cute. We stared at this lamp for about a week while we were recovering from COVID. So fun little memory, but really cute. So this is the other little ornament we got. So two ornaments and then since we were there celebrating my dad's life, I said to hubby, I was like, we've got to get something Donald Duck from the Alani. And when I saw this, I just thought it was hilarious and silly like my dad could be at times. Um, so we found this cute Donald who's having a little bit of beach fun. And it says Alani on the foot, but really cute, snorkeling. And this keychain was $12. So, so that was $12. Now, can't go anywhere without getting some pins. So hubby and I decided on two pins. One, we got Duffy and all of his friends. Hopefully you can see that. This was $12.99. So it's got Olu, Mel, Stella Lou. It's got Duffy, Gelatoni, Sally, you got all the gang right there. Really cute. And then, of course, I had to get a cookie and one since I already have a gelatoni. She's so cute. I love her and she's holding a little cupcake. So the both pins, $12.99. Now, one last thing. I When I was in Disney World, I was going back and forth on the phone with my bestie, Ben. Hi, Ben. Um, and we were talking about the, the new craze of these Numies the Disney little Numies and you can buy outfits for them. And I was going to get him a Winnie the Pooh one with a spirit Jersey. And then I really wanted one and I wanted to put an outfit on mine. And then after you start adding it up, I'm like, this is getting really expensive. So for two little Numies and their little outfits, it's like almost a hundred dollars Australian. Um, so we decided not to, and get, you know, we were like, we'll find something different. But again, while I was at the Alani and because we were there to celebrate my dad, um, I saw I saw the new me again and I was like, okay, I have I have to get it. So I got my first new me. So I got Donald. He just reminds me of my dad. Um, my dad was hilarious. He would always do Donald Duck's voice to make us laugh. Um, and then he would do it for his grandchildren and now my nephews they do it to be funny as well and do the Donald Duck voice so every time I see Donald I just I think of my dad and I smile and so I got this and then who knows maybe the next trip which we already planning um, so we're trying to decide comment down below if you have any advice we really want to go back to Tokyo we love Japan. We think it's one of the most incredible places we've ever traveled in our lives. So we're thinking to go back to Tokyo um, 
Disney and do Disney Sea in July for our wedding anniversary again, which we've done before and we love, but I just want to have several more days and soak it up even more. And plus the shopping at Disney there, hands down the best. So probably will end up getting him a new outfit, but it's either that or we've been every single park in the world together. So my 10th park was Disney um, California Adventure. Hubby's 10th park was Epcot, because obviously I started a long time before he did and I got him hooked on the Disney parks. So our 11th and 12th park together will be Disney Paris. But with everything that's going on in the world right now, don't know what's gonna be open, what's going on, but a nine hour flight to Tokyo seems a little easier right now than probably 24 hours to get to to Paris, but comment down below if you've been to either, what you'd recommend. Um, but we do definitely have to do Paris at some point so that we've been to every Disney resort in the world. Now, with that being said, one last thing, because again, we love to collect pins and who doesn't like a freebie. And now you know when you go to the Disney resorts, you can get like a I'm celebrating a birthday pin and stuff like that. They have really cool ones at Alani. And all you have to do is ask nicely. So, this is the happy birthday pin for Alani. And you can get a cast member to write on it free. And then this one is a I'm celebrating. And then this is their welcome aloha for your first time ever visiting. So be sure if you're staying there, when you go to check in, you ask them, you say, oh, you know, do you have the, the, the buttons? This is our first trip. We're celebrating a birthday, whatever. Even if you're not celebrating, they'll still give them to you. So just ask. But we got these three buttons to add to our collection, which we love to put on our picture frame wall back here on top of all the pictures. So we did get that. And now that is my shopping haul from the Alani. Obviously, we didn't get to do too much there because we were obviously recovering from COVID, but we did get some good stuff. Um, now, if you haven't watched my other video, I'll be doing the video on the tour of the whole entire Alani Resort and a few other videos on the different places to eat. So if you're interested in seeing those, be sure to subscribe to the channel so you never miss anything. Hit the notification bell. Be sure to like this video so that you can win your own Olu Mel. And for now, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this haul. Hope you enjoyed seeing all the cool little treats that they have at Alani and the ears. But for now, cheers, big ears, and we'll see you real soon. Bye.